What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create the GTA Wanted level system. It's going to be very easy for you to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we'll need is of course our Wanted Star icon. In my case I have this one which is a simple transparent PNG. So if you want to choose uh, kind of the same vibe as me as we're going to for GTA, go ahead and just you know, find and go a PNG uh, image of a star or whatever you prefer to be the icon. So now what we have to do is create the widget that will display all of our wanted star levels and you know activate which ones we want depending on the level. So let's just right click, go to user interface, go down to widget blueprint and let's create a normal user widget. Let's call this something as WB underscore and use wanted level and let's open this up. Okay, so now what we have to do is go to the palette and search for a canvas panel and just drag it into the hierarchy. So now this will allow us to just place things on our screen. So what we want to do is add some images. Now we could just go ahead and add an image here, duplicate it, add another image here. But to be always more exact, uh, what we can do is use a horizontal box. Just drag it into the right top corner and just make it a bit bigger to fit in what our stars will be. Let's put it over here. And then let's go ahead and change the anchor to be at the top right. Very important. Okay, so now we have this. Let's make it a bit bigger. I think like this will work. And then we're gonna leave the horizontal box with this name. Uh, means horizontal box. And then what we can do is drag an image inside of the horizontal box. As you can see, we have this, which in this case will be the wanted level, and in this case will be one. Um, so what we have to do is change a bit of the size and so on. But first of all, let's add our image into here so we can view it. So let's go into our brush and we can put here an image. In this case, this will be our wanted star. There we go. So uh, make sure that this is drawn as image. So, you know, be how it is. And then what we can do is just go ahead and duplicate this. And you can see that we start to get different wanted levels. Okay, so the thing is that the wanted levels in GTA, for example, goes from uh, right to left, okay? Uh, it's a bit different of, you know, what normal it is. So let's go ahead and just put a two here, duplicate it. This will be three, and this will be four, and let's do up to five, okay? And five. So the thing is that right now I'm going from, you know, uh, left to right. But I want it to be the other way around, so I'm gonna just go ahead and drop this down into here. Sorry, my clock, my watch is beeping for some reason. All right, <laughs> back to business. Okay, so now as you can see, we have to order this from a uh, bottom to top instead of you know normally when we do it from top to bottom. This because we're gonna go and start with our right, uh, you know, uh, stars. So this will be one, two, then it will be three. So let's squish it on here, and then four and five. So now as you can see, it's from uh, right to left. So you can see right now our, you know, want the stars are just kind of squeezed in. So I'm going to change some things over here. OK, now we can change it to fill and that's what we are going to do. So let's select all of them, change it to fill so I can see now they will be covering the space needed. Now another thing I have to do is select all of them and just add a little padding on the left, let's say. So maybe I think that uh, five will work, maybe a bit like ten. So there's a bit of separation between them. Okay, maybe I think that maybe like around 12 will do the job. Okay, and now they will be here. Great. So by default, they should not be completely opaque because they're that means that you know we have that specific wanted level. So let's go and select all of them, go to the image brush settings, tint. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this to be just darker and then. Um, overall, I think the opacity could stay, but let's drop this to maybe 0.5. Okay, so it's gonna be darker at 0.5. So it will like symbolize that you know they're just not on right now. So let's go ahead and just add this widget into the player screen when we press play because right now it doesn't appear. So let's go to third person blueprint, third person character blueprint, and in the begin play when the game starts, you're gonna just create a widget. And then we're gonna select the class, which in this case will be the one that we have just created, which will be wanted level. And now what we have to do is just add this into the viewport. So it'll be in the screen. So now when we press play, as you can see, I have it all here in the top right corner. Great, so we can, now we can close this, go back to the UI. So what we have to do is depending 
on the um, you know wanted level we have to activate a one of them or, or whatever so let's go to the horizontal box and just make this a variable so we can also access it just in case we need it in the future we probably won't need it but imagine that you want to get a specific one you can do so easily from the childs of the horizontal box but we also could just reference them individually um, but let's go to graph let's delete all of this let's right click create a new custom event and this will be update wanted level so whenever we update the wanted level we'll go ahead and pass over here in this case what i want to do is go through all of the children in this horizontal box and depending on um, my wanted level activate them okay so in my case i'm gonna go into my graph and just go and just get my horizontal box and then we can just get all of the uh, children okay so we can get the children index and children count and overall uh get the um get all the children okay which is what we want because this will give us directly the array okay because an array is a list of objects so with that what we can do is a uh, for each loop so we go in a loop through all of the children in this horizontal box and we'll go ahead and activate them depending if we need or we don't need in this case i want to add an input over here which will be the new wanted level all right so we a new one to level and this will be an integer okay so when we update the widget we'll receive what new uh wanted level we will have okay so now what i'll have to do is each time that we go through one of the children we have to check uh, if we want to activate it or not so we are also going to have another variable which will be the uh, index wanted level okay You'll see why we'll use this in a second. So let's go ahead and just put this to be an integer. And now what I can do is get this and just um, set the, in this case will be the color. So we can just set the color. We have to go ahead and use, um, so in this case, we are receiving a widget object reference, okay? Now, uh, there are some restrictions. If we just directly, you know, um, use this big widget object reference. So what we have to do is cast to image uh, in order to access all the properties that we need because you know this are is our images right so now what we can do is set the um, brush from this asset and this will allow us to right click break this and for example uh, you know make our brush tint and so on in this case what we want to do is just make a slate color and now we can choose which color which will be basically um, totally normal just you know blank and with the alpha back at one and now we have that actually the alpha main sort of just one could be like 0.8 so it's a bit uh not you know so exaggerated okay so now uh, you can see that uh, when i call this imagine i call this at the begin play all right so the event construct which is the begin play of the level and now i just call this right update one to the level if i now just press play you will see that all of them will be basically with this image and of course the image uh just basically was um loosed because we have to just find it again because we are overriding these settings right now we press play you'll see that it starts up here okay so basically we just have to do this until we reach the index wanted level so we are going to check if we're gonna make a branch if this current index is less okay or equal than the index wanted level if so we want to go ahead and make it happen so right now if i press play you can see that we only have one star and even though we're passing a zero that's why we have to get the index wanted level and decrease it by one because in the array it will go from zero to the um, max index but we want to go from one so now as you can see it is zero because we have zero wanted level but if I were to put this at two, you'll see that now when I press play, we have uh, no, no uh, at all. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have anyone. Um, so instead of uh, decreasing it, like you can see, I've put it like to five here. And compile, press play, you can see it's still not filling in. And sorry, I, I literally forgot. We are not using anymore this index one to level. Uh, We're just directly going to be you know getting this new one to level right so if i put five you can see we'll be feeling five if i put this at not 25 but two 
You can see now when I press play, it will be fading three. That's because we have to take one, like I said before. And this is because we are Q with the go organized. Uh, in the for each loop, we'll go from the array, which starts at zero and then finishes at in this case four. We want to go ahead and just go from one. So now as you can see two. If I put one, now it's only one. If I put three, it's now three. So that will go ahead and work. So now the only thing that you have to do is call this update wanted level um, when you want to update your wanted level from whatever place and you set what specific number uh, you want. And that should be it. So that's it guys, if you found this so helpful, I would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so check them out. The project files will be available in my Patreon YouTube members, so link in the description. And now yes, we'll outside, join me the subscriber. Now yes, we'll outside, bye bye.